Hi, welcome to the R&J Machinery Showroom. Let's get your demo started on the Hebrock F2 Edge Bander. So this is the Hebrock F2. As you can see, it's the most compact of the Hebrox F range. The machine is equipped with pre-milling, a quick heating hot melt glue pot, guillotine, end trim saw, top and bottom milling, and flat scraping. The machine is 3.3 meters long, so compact. As you can see from the outside, ergonomically designed, extension rollers on the front, which can be pulled out to give further, com further support for larger panels. The machine has the green light to tell the operator when to feed the panel, height adjustment for the panel on the top, and as you can see, the nice PLC touchscreen control. Here is the control system on the Hebrock F2. The controllers are the same on the whole range, Hebrock F2, F4 and F5. And this is the page we see when we first turn the machine on. This is an area that allows us to turn the glue pot on or make changes to the glue temperature. So we can select EVA glue or PUR glue. And as you see, when we select each icon, the temperature changes. At the moment, we've got EVA in the glue pot. We're also able to turn the temperature all the way up on the glue to make it very viscous, enabling us to clear the pot easier which we'll show you later on. At the moment, we're quite happy with it heating up to 190 degrees. This process takes just under four minutes. So, once we go from that page, we go on to the main menu. This is where we can see the different recipes that have been selected in green, and the programs saved down the right-hand side. These are some of the programs that we've already pre-saved into the machine for a demo purpose. So. Thin edge for us would be pre-milling, guillotine, end trim saws, top and bottom milling, and surface scrapers. During the running process, if you ever want to turn them off or back on again, you can do that just by using the icons on the machine. Scrapers off, scrapers on. Where you can see the spanner symbol underneath the icon, that enables us to make some adjustments automatically through the controller. For instance, on the end trim saw unit, if we press the spanner, we're able to select whether we want both ends trimming or a tab leaving on one side. As you can see at the moment, the end trim saws are going to cut front and rear of the panel. Again, on the top and, milling station, uh, top and bottom milling station, you can see we're able to choose radius, chamfer or flat square edge finish and we can select that on the top of the board and the bottom independently. With the images changing at the bottom it's easy for the operator to see where he's selected and what he's on next. So if we press OK we would then be able to start the machine ready to start edge banding. As you can see, we can change from thin edge, maybe 0.4 or 0.8, to 2 mil edge very, very quickly with minimal mechanical adjustments, 95% through the PLC. While we're waiting for the pot to heat up, let me take you around and show you the inside of the machine. Inside the front cabinet, or the first cabinet, you can see pre-milling adjustments or pre-milling units with pre-milling adjustments, glue pot, which is quick heating, and a plunger for glue release. When we pull this out, the glue will start coming out the bottom of the pot. Push it back in, it stops. The pot's easily releasable and can be changed over very, very quickly and easily with quick release fittings. As we come into the second cabinet, we can see the end trim saw unit and the top and bottom milling station with three point pneumatic adjustment on the top and the bottom which is adjustable as we've seen through the control system. Then we can see 
the flat scrapers. So now, as we can see, the glue pot's up to temperature. We're ready to start edge banding. So we press the start button and we wait for the green light to come on. Once the green light's on, away we go. And as expected every time, a perfect finish. So to change over the glue pot, we remove these pneumatic fittings. One's big and one's small, so you can't get them wrong. We remove the electrical connection. We remove the glue drain and we remove the handle that's holding the potty. Once they've been removed we can easily change over onto the glue stand that comes with the second pot. Our next pot's waiting, ready to go. And drops into place nice and smooth. Once this new pot's on, we can reconnect electrically and pneumatically. Again, one big connection, one small connection. Lock the pot back onto the machine. And reconnect the handle for the glue drain. Once that's done, we can now go up and turn the pot back on. Now we've just changed from a dark glue to a white glue.